The black hole at the center of our galaxy is being circled by a bubble of gas, traveling at a mind-blowing 30% the speed of light. Finding the bubble, which lasted barely a few hours, may help explain how black holes function. Sagittarius A star, the supermassive black hole at the center of the Milky Way, has a mass more than 4 million suns and is located around 27,000 light years from Earth. Our galaxy's unique spiral shape is a result of its enormous gravitational pull. In May, the Event Horizon Telescope Collaboration, a network of radio dishes from across the globe, unveiled the first ever image of the black hole at the center of our galaxy, Sagittarius A star. Masig Vilgus, an astrophysicist from Germany's Max Planck Institute for Radio Astronomy, claimed that the ALMA radio telescope in Chile's Andes mountain range detected something very odd in the Sagittarius A star's data. Vilgus told AFP that the Chandra Space Telescope detected a huge spike in X-rays only minutes before ALMA's radio data collecting began. According to recent research published by Vilgus in the journal Astronomy and Astrophysics, this explosion of energy, considered to be analogous to solar flares on the Sun, sent a hot bubble of gas whirling around the black hole. Even though the astronomers couldn't see the bubble directly, they tracked its orbit by measuring how the brightness and angle of light from Sagittarius A star varied over time. According to Vilgus, the gas bubble's orbit was comparable to Mercury's around the Sun. It takes Mercury 88 days to complete that journey, while the bubble only took 70. That equates to a speed of around 30% of the speed of light. Vilgus described it as mind-blowing and stated, so it's an absolutely ridiculously fast spinning bubble. The black hole's magnetic field is thought to have created the hot spot when it interacted with the superheated gas around Sagittarius A star. Let us know what you think in the comments section below. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, check out our previous videos, and visit our website if you love reading at www.nasaspacenews.com. Thanks for watching.